what's up guys it's me how to take back with another video guys here so in this video i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install cyanogen mod 13.0 on your samsung galaxy grand prime it's going to work with the only the smg 530h model including the variant such as xcu and xxu so let's get started first of all what you need to do is check your device model and your device variant to do this what you need to do is go to the settings scroll down to about phone as you can see there on the on the downside on the most last here click on that after that you need to check your device model if your device model is smg 530h that means it's gonna work with the ROM otherwise other model it will not work currently scroll down until you see this basement section on here the middle side as you can see it's running xcu if your variant is xcu or xxu it's gonna work otherwise other variants it will, it will not work so after you check your uh, device uh, info what you need to do is go to the first link i'm going to give it a link in description which should take you to this genskin server from here if you're running the xxu or uh, you need to download the for f4 fortuna 3g version otherwise if you're running the xcu you have to download the fortuna ve version here as you can see so I'm, I, I'm running the Fortuna VE, so I, I mean I'm running the XCU version, so I have to, so I have to download the down, the, the la, last one, which is the CM13, an official Fortuna VE. So after you download it, what I need to do is go to the second link, I'm going to give it a link in description, which will take you to this open Google Apps site. From here, you have to select a platform to ARM. So I'll click on the sub 6.0. After that, click here the Pico. After that, click the download button. I've already downloaded the all files. So let me show you my downloaded files here. Okay. CM13.0. And the Google Apps here, as you can see, the open gaps. Um, let me so as you can see, I've downloaded the all files. So, now what you'll need to do is boot your device with the recovery. So, to do that, what you need to do is power off your device first. After that, press power button, volume up, and the home button at the same time. After you reboot the recovery, what you'll need to do is back up your all files and everything. I highly recommend you do the doing the backup process here. So if you mess up everything, you can always go ahead and restore it. So I, I already make a backup here. So after you make a backup, what you need to do is wipe this is go click on the wipe, click on advanced wipe, select Dalvi Cache, System, Cache, and Data and swipe and those partitions should be wiped up after that wait a second mm. so after you wipe everything what you need to do is click on the install scroll down until you see the cm13.0 as you can see after that you can you have to swipe and the installation of the rom should be started The installation of ROM should, should be taking somewhere around 2 or 1 minutes.
So the installation of the ROM is almost done. As you can see, it's saying, as you can see, it's completely done. After that, what I need to do is flash the open Google Apps here. As you can see, open Google Apps ARM 6.0. Select that and swipe, and you install it. And the Google Apps installation should be started real quick. Well, as you can see, now it's installing the Google Apps. It should take somewhere around one or two minutes. So as you can see the installation is successfully done what I need to do is now click the reboot system and now Cyanogen Mod 13.0 has been successfully installed on your device now the first boot may take somewhere around three or four minutes to boot up the whole system so I'll be right back after the processing Android screen pops up because in the new Cyanogen Mod 13.0 there's a new awesome cool screen where before the head you should, you'll see like optimizing app but now in the Cyanogen Mod 13.0 there's another cool screen that I want to show you. So I'll be right back after the processing Android apps will as you can see the in the new processing app screen as you can see we have a new apps logo here right now uh, and with a process bar. And I will be right back after the whole optimizing app process is done. So now, as you can see, the process, the optimizing app screen is done. What I need to do is now complete the setup process. Select your language. Click next. next. I'm going to skip the skip everything for the sake of video. And boom, as you can see, you've successfully installed Cyanogen Mod 13.0 on your Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. So now it's gonna it's running the Android, the new Android M, the Android Marshmallow. Let me show you here quick, as you can see. About phone. As you can see, the device model is the SMG 530H with the Android version of 6.0.1. As you can see, it's running the brand new Marshmallow OS. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.